Hey lovely crocheters out there. This is Tasha from Start of School Crochet. Today's Saturday Stitch tutorial is the raised ripple stitch. This is my modern version. I revised the original a bit so the edges were a little bit straighter. And today I'm using a six millimeter hook. So grab your yarn. We're gonna do a foundation chain or a foundation double crochet. And here I'm working 10. So go ahead and chain three. Then you're going to work your double over or yarn over. <laughs> Put your hook in the first chain, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through one. Grab onto the bottom two of that, pull through two and pull through two just like a regular double crochet. So insert your hook for the second stitch through the bottom two loops, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through one, and then complete your double crochet like normal. You repeat that until you reach 10 double crochets. The foundations really help a lot because they have stretch to it, which is great for puffy stitches. All right, so I've done three, and go ahead and work 10, and we'll come right back. Okay, so here I've worked my 10. The row two, this is considered row one, so we're gonna chain one for row two and turn and row two is a single crochet row. We're going to start in the very first single double crochet from the row below and then work 10 complete double crochets, one in or single crochets, one in each stitch. Lord, my voice is not working today. So the raised ripple, this is my version. I hope you guys like it. The one in the book was super confusing and I thought, I just can't teach this. I need to make this more efficient. So, so there's your row two. We've got 10 single crochet. For row th three, we're going to chain two and turn. And then here's where we're going to do our raised stitches. So we're going to skip, do a double crochet in that first single crochet from the previous row and then we're going to work down and do our first raised double or raised treble into the second double crochet chains do not count as a stitch so you do your treble which is yarning over twice going around the stitch and then completing your treble like normal you skip one, and then we're going to work a double crochet into the next stitch. You skip one double from below and do a treble around the next double crochet from row one. And then we're going to skip one, and we're going to work a double crochet into the next, which is the repeat. So you do a treble around, a front post treble, and then you do a skip stitch and then you do a double crochet in the next stitch. Skip that one and do a double crochet. You repeat that all the way to the end. Skip. Do a raised. Some people call it raised, some people call it front post. It's the same thing. Skip one, double crochet in the next. And for our last stitch, we're going to do a double crochet in the very last single crochet. So here we've completed our three rows so far. Our foundation double, single crochet, and then a raised. Chain one and turn. And we're doing one more row. We're repeating row two, which is a single crochet row. So you're just going to single crochet across the entire row, in one in each stitch. This is a really awesome stitch. I'm doing a scarf with some color changes too. So there we have our 10 single crochet. For row four, we're gonna chain two, or five, I'm sorry. Then we're gonna do our first raised treble in the very first double crochet that you see, your, visible, your first visible double crochet. We're skipping the stitch behind there. We've skipped the first single crochet. We skip the second one. 
we're going to work a treble or double crochet into the third. I recommend marking this row with a stitch marker. Then we're going to do a treble around the next visible double crochet below. Skip one and do a double crochet in the next. And where that pattern repeats across the entire row. So you do a treble around the doubles and you do a double crochet after you skip one stitch. You repeat that until the very end and then the end is worked just a little bit different. So here we've got one stitch left. We're going to go and work our last front post treble around that last double crochet. And then we're not skipping a stitch this time. We're just going to do one double crochet into that last stitch. That creates a solid edge for you to sew together, which is something that I think is really important if you're a designer. So here's your foundation, and then you're going to repeat rows two to five until you reach your desired height. And here's what the swatch looks like. It's a really great pattern. The backside usually of the raised stitches are flat, and there I've created a nice edge on both sides, which will make it easier to sew with few gaps. The original version has quite a few gaps on the sides. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Well, first let me say, I think you need to mark the fifth row because it'll help you keep track since the two rows are different. The two repeat rows are slightly different. It just helps you keep track of where you are. So go ahead and subscribe and give me a like if you haven't already. New stitch tutorial videos are out every Saturday. Thanks for watching. Take care, guys.